Hello. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. There is a definite pattern to your visits. It appears you are a punctual person. Let's see. Last time, the Tad men have developed legs. At the moment, the habitat contains two Tad men. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. All right, let's cold turn here. up the heat for these bad boys. Well, oh, not really goody. bad boys. It's about time. I had to think about what oh, name goody. I gave the Tad Man yesterday. <laughs> Thaddeus, that was it. All right, let's bump this up to around... 23. That ought to do. Yeah, screw it. Let's just bump it up to, uh, right there. That'll do. Hello! Good afternoon. Hi! Hello! Are you listening? You know what I like about you. The rest of the world is out there busting a gut, but you're always here keeping me company. I'm happy to. I like your company. Are you okay? It's just kind of... Are you alright? something bothering you, little one? No. Oh, I see. Maybe you shouldn't alarm me like that, then. <laughs> Sorry. Well, let's go ahead and take care of the bugaboos. While nature balances things out for us once more. There are so many moths! Like, okay, there's a grand total of four, plus the chrysalis and the two caterpillars, but still... There's a lot going on in this tank. More than I anticipated. <laughs> One more spray should do it. Come on now. There we go. What's new? Like the spice? Which spice? Is something bothering you, little one? No. Oh, I see. Maybe you shouldn't alarm me like that, then. <laughs> so I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume you like music. It's another medium you humans are fascinated with. Well, what kind of music do you listen to? Rock, hip-hop, what? Metal. You're a fan of metal, huh? Yes. You're not going to bite my head off or anything, are you, Ozzy? You know, I didn't expect that comparison. Although, you know, Mr. Crowley and Crazy Train are excellent uh, pieces. Although, Queen was more rock. I like classic rock, too, that's the thing. I like pretty much everything except for country. And the majority of rap, like, there are a few tracks that are actually alright. I promise. Do you need more foliage? You bet I am. Hungry? No, I don't think so. Okay. 
want anything. Is the water warm? Eh? Yeah. Are you warm enough? Let me turn that up a little bit for him. What do you like? This better be important. What's on your mind? It's a secret. I can keep a secret. Now I want to ask you about the most important medium of all, the printed word. Tell me, do you enjoy reading? Yes. You like to, huh? Yes. That's great. Reading is the greatest of all forms of entertainment because it allows you to use your imagination. You're not bound to someone else's version of what a character or scene looks like. And, you know, truth be told, I really enjoy Terry Pratchett. So, I mean, the Discworld series in particular, I've actually got a copy of Mort Reberman and Hogfather. Funnily enough, yes, all of them involve death. But you know what? Discworld death is actually really cool. Do you enjoy reading? Do you like to read? What do you need? What do How many you... books have you read in the past year that weren't required reading for school? Three. Hmm, that's good. But remember, you can always read more. What kind of books do you like? Fantasy. Well, it's no wonder you're sitting here talking to me. I'm about as sci-fi as you get, aren't I? But I'm real. Well, I feel like I know a little more about how you keep yourself entertained. There is so much being produced out there for your perusal. Movies, books, TV, music. If your full-time job was being entertained, you probably still wouldn't be able to take it all in. Nor would you want to, I guess, because there's a lot of garbage out there, too. But as far as I know, human beings are the only animal smart enough to entertain itself in a complex way. So I say, take advantage of as much of it as you can. Even if you're just staring at a cop show eating bonbons for an hour. I'm sorry, did he say cop show? Oh, oh, that's what he meant. Right. And, you know, I was just complaining about police procedurals the other day. Oh, I enjoy Tadman's company. Although, I don't think I've ever had a bonbon. I need to check that. Hold on. Is a bonbon. Oh, any of several types of sweets, usually small candies coated in chocolate. Uh, I mean, if I'm going to do that, honestly, I prefer to just do it with, uh, I just prefer chocolate-covered raisins, if that's the case. Bonbons? What do you want? Any other questions? You called... Any more questions? Want to play a game? No any games. Is something bothering you, little one? Yeah. Is it because you're out of work? No. Hmm. What's bothering you, then? My feet hurt. You're attracted to other men? No. 
Okay, now you're not making sense. Let's try this again. What's bothering you? Pain. Yes, amour can certainly be frustrating, can't it? Just know that you're not alone. In fact, I'll bet that there's several million people out there right at this very second who have the exact same complaint. Did he interpret that as a more? Also, why would that bother him? Or why would that bother me being attracted to other men? I feel like this game's a little dated. Regardless, I mean, seriously, guys, they're, and girls, there's no shame in being attracted to people of the same sex as you. If you are a woman and you find yourself attracted to other women, fantastic. If you're a man and you find yourself attracted to other men, that's fine. Love is love, guys. Alright? Like, I'll, n I'll never judge you guys for it. Seaman keeps making me get real. Why does this happen? I hope you're happy. You called. Are you happy? And there it is. See you later. Alright, I guess he's done for now then. Goodbye. See ya. Good night. But I'm not tired. You will be. Well, either way, he's happy. So, yeah. Leonard, take us out. Would you like to save and end the session? Yes, please. I did have an idea of how to edit this, and... Uh, if anything, it's probably going to end up kind of like... I really wish we had quieter cars on this road. Anyway, it's probably going to end up like, uh, you know, I don't like to name, well, okay, name dropping isn't an issue, I guess. It's just like, I don't know how else to put it, but it's, uh, I'm basically thinking it'll end up like Pro Jared's Tamagotchi video. If you haven't seen that, or if you're not familiar with his work, go check him out. He's a cool guy. At least I think so. I could be wrong. You know, everybody's got their own opinions. But... Uh, yeah, I'm thinking it'll be like this, where it's kind of like the highlights for each day. Obviously, talking with Seaman and learning more about him. If Leonard brings something up, I'll figure it out as we go. Alright, talk to you guys later. Hello. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. It seems that visiting around this time has become a habit for you. At the moment, the habitat contains two cadmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. Hey, it's a bit cold in here. Be right with you guys. Just gonna crank up the heater as we go now. Yay! How do they look today? They're definitely larger, I can tell that much. Probably can't spend too long today just because I've got stuff oh, going on. Let me just uh, crank that to 23 and a half, I think. There we go. Hey, enough with the heater already. Oh man, I'm so hot. close. I was so close. Wow, their bodies are really filling up. Look at them. Come on now. Come on. Come on, drop the heat. Hello. Are Hello. Are you listening? Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Are you there? Thank goodness it's Friday, huh? Yeah. But for me, it's Tuesday. 
Why? You fart again? No, I just work weekends. Doesn't really add up, but, uh... Let's spray the tank down while we have the opportunity real quick. Everything okay? Can I help you? Can I help you? Everything all right? Are you well? Well, that depends on whether or not you're looking after me, doesn't it? You look good. So does your mother. She's a nice lady. This better be good. You seem well. Everybody needs a hobby. You know, it struck me that I've been around you for quite some time now, participating in your daily routines. However, I'm not quite sure exactly where we are. I'm guessing we are somewhere in America, but the details are fuzzy. Like you, fuzzy. Anywho, I was wondering if you'd be so kind as to tell me which state we're residing in currently. Pennsylvania. The great state of Pennsylvania? Yes. Pennsylvania was the second of the original 13 colonies. Why didn't your forefathers work a little faster so they could be number one? Isn't that what America is all about? Anyway, what big city are we closest to? Philadelphia. The city of brotherly love? It's interesting. I've heard Philadelphia described as one of the rudest cities in America. Perhaps Philadelphians are just doing it for the irony. You know what's weird? Philly has not changed that much over the years, honestly. Then again, maybe it's just, like, the East Coast. I don't know. It's possible. Uh, well, let me just crank up the heat a little bit more for him. That'll do it. Alright. Anything else? Anything else? You called. Do you want anything? I must tell you that your country truly fascinates me. Here at the beginning of a new millennium, the most visible signs of change for America is that it continues to get stronger and more influential in the world. Yet for a country with so much influence, it's made up of so many disparate parts. You people on the East Coast seem to move at a different pace than everyone else, yet all the pieces somehow fit together. Colonial reachings have even brought places like Alaska and Hawaii into the fold. What will your future be like? Will there be 55 states in a hundred years? Will there be no states at all? These are the things I think about. And I'm sure you have too. I have, actually. Yes, I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I have to go now. What's up? Goodbye for now. Well, I found out a little about you based on where we live. Now I'm curious if you've learned anything about your fellow humans based on where they live. Tell me, have you ever traveled abroad? Yes. Where did you go the last time you traveled? Canada. Canada. I'm guessing life there is a bit less hectic than what you're used to here in the eastern U.S. Maybe next time you'll actually cross an ocean. I'm glad to hear you've traveled a bit. You know the expression about walking a mile in someone's shoes? Well... Walking a mile in their country is the next best thing. 
You have no idea how much you don't know about a person until you find out about their home. Humans always seem to play it too safe. They stay in their own little world instead of realizing that the world belongs to those that live in it. And if you don't travel it and learn about it, you're not really living in it, you see. Besides, think of all the hot bods you can meet overseas. You know, he's not entirely wrong either. On any account there. Ah, well. Thank you. You're welcome. I have to go. I have another point God. to make regarding travel and culture. Shall I share it with you? Yes. Okay, then. Whether or not you've traveled abroad, you're part of an ever-shrinking world. Sure, you know that. There's even a song about it being a small world after all, but never in history has it become so important to be familiar with and tolerant of other peoples and their cultures. You and your descendants will be forced to deal more and more with people from all over the world. Think of the effect that will have. Cultures will become further mixed. You already see that in small ways, like your pop music with musical styles being combined, in your food with fusion cuisine. It's a natural result of the world's economy becoming mixed, the prevalence of the internet, cheaper, faster travel. The end result will more likely be that there may be no more countries to speak of in the future. The world will be more of a cohesive unit, just as it happened in the United States and is already happening in Europe. That, to me, is very exciting. I would like that. Yes? I like that idea. That is a good idea. Yes? I like the way you think. Good idea. Goodbye. Be seeing you. Good night. Good night. Alright, with that I really should get rolling. So, let me just crank up the heat one more time. Alright. Very good. Bugaboos are sprayed down. Leonard, would you kindly take us out for now? Would you like to save and end the session? Yes, please. And you know, the thing is, I would be okay if we were more unified. Yeah, I mean, that would make economics and stuff a little trickier, but at the same time, you know what? We'd figure it out as we go, I have a feeling. That said, I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Hello. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. It seems that visiting around this time has become a habit for you. At the moment, the habitat contains two cadmen. They are suffering from the cold. Please use the heater to raise the temperature to a more comfortable level. So let us head over to the tank. It's a little chilly, don't you think? Working on that right now, my dudes. Yay! Oh, goody. It's about time. Yay! Almost there. Ah, warm. Almost there. And 23.2. There we go. Now slow down just enough. Hello? Is anyone out there? Hello! I was beginning to wonder where you were off to. My apologies. How are you? Are you okay? Yep. Want anything? You can go away. Are you sure? 
What do you want? Are you... Well, until next time. Bye. You don't want to talk? I guess not. Hmm. I'll give him some time and maybe talk to him a little bit then. Give it a few minutes and cut ahead if nothing happens, you know. There we go. Are you sure you're alright? Thaddeus. What's up? Are you okay? Are you mad at me? No. Leave me alone. I have a question for you. You see, watching you every day like this, I see you come and go to and from work, in and out of the house. It's kind of like observing apes must be for you. Each monkey has its own lot in life, set of rules to follow, and it follows them, regardless of how it feels at that moment or what it might rather be doing. Of course, it can be rather comfortable for me to relax all day, but then again I still get antsy and crave things which, due to my physique, are impossible to accomplish. I have to admit that I envy you somewhat. That you may be so productive and make differences within your own culture, but I know that the grass is always some other color on your neighbor's lawn, so to speak, so I'm really curious. Are you happy with your job? Maybe. You know what? I need a break. Be back in a bit. Okay. No. Leave me alone. Can do. You can tell your friends to stop hitting on me. I will do that. Are you lonely? Come on, I'm here, aren't I? And you are fantastic company. This better be important. You're great company. Did you want to try again? What? Try again? Eh? You said you needed a break? You needed a break? This better be good. It's really not a difficult question. I said... I have a question for you. You see... Watching you every day like this, I see you come and go to and from work, in and out of the house. It's kind of like observing apes must be for you. Each monkey has its own lot in life, set of rules to follow, and it follows them, regardless of how it feels at that moment or what it might rather be doing. Of course, it can be rather comfortable for me to relax all day, but... Then again, I still get antsy and crave things which, due to my physique, are impossible to accomplish. I have to admit that I envy you somewhat, that you may be so productive and make differences within your own culture, but I know that the grass is always some other color on your neighbor's lawn, so to speak, so I'm really curious. Are you happy with your job? No. Well, I guess that figures in this day and age. It's too bad since society seems to think your work is what defines you. And maybe it does. Action is certainly more noticeable than ideals, isn't it? So tell me, are you planning on switching career paths anytime soon? Yes. Well, that's good. When you're unhappy with something, it's important to take steps to change it. After all, what is life without happiness? And a job, I hate to say, takes up an awful lot of one's life. Too much for it not to affect their personal lives. 
It seems as if a career can be a very important thing to a person, and I really think that's good for your society as a whole. And if people do what they love, then their output will no doubt be worlds apart than if they don't. Even some humans get a little carried away with, with work and forget their individualities. But if you look at, say, ants, for example, they are not defined by their selves, but their missions in life, often to gather food, and that is their career, so to speak. You are all one large purposeful machine, whether or not you realize this day by day. If you get stuck doing something you're not fond of, then the machine becomes creakier and eventually collapses. This is why I believe that each worker must truly enjoy the work she or he is set out to do. It sounds as if it's about time you move on to something new, don't you think? I simply can't imagine spending quite so much time doing something that doesn't leave me content at the end of the day. Well, anyway, it was nice chatting with you. I'll be seeing you around then. You know, I was actually talking with a co-worker about this yesterday, and it got me thinking. Hang on. Let me just make sure the heater stops. Hey, look at him go. Well, anyway, I'm going to zoom out a little bit for these two. So, you know, I work, obviously, in a relatively private environment. I'm not going to say what I do, because, I mean, I'm still relatively new on the job. But my coworker was saying that, you know, it seems almost like a waste that I'm out there doing what's essentially... I don't know how to explain it beyond, like, higher-grade manual labor, like, much more precise and stuff. But, uh, you know, he said, just like, from talking with me, it seems I'm more suited to a more creative environment. And, you know, like, going into film, there's obviously not a lot around me. But I decided to... Oh, what are words? I, I decided to upgrade my Adobe subscription, so now I have access to After Effects and a few other things, and since yesterday, or maybe the day before, I've been looking into motion capture, so, you know, I'm going to play around with that a little bit, and see what comes of it. Who knows? Maybe I can actually get a job in film, because, like, I would honestly love to work on either a movie or a TV show, and it wouldn't even have to be something blockbuster level. It wouldn't have to be, like, a Marvel movie or anything like that. It wouldn't have to be a police procedural. In fact, if I could help it, I would avoid those like the plague. Mainly just because... As weird as it sounds, there are so many of them, but a lot of them are really short-lived. Like, oh, what was it? Unforgettable? That... I only ever saw one episode of. Kojak, I think, had the same thing when they rebooted that. Monk is still going, which is weird. The ones that seem to stay, or just like, almost, I guess, overstay their welcome, perhaps, depending on how you look at it. CSI and its variants. NCIS and its variants. Well, its spinoffs, I should say. And Criminal Minds. Like, those are the big three that I've seen more than just, like, a handful of times. I don't know. It's weird. Nah, no, honestly, I kind of, I have an idea for a, a film or, like, a series of short videos, well, maybe, like, half an hour or so, depending on them. But, yeah, I had this idea, and I'm kind of wanting to explore it, which is why I need to do motion capture. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Alright, you know what? I should thank Thaddeus. Thank you. You're welcome. I have to go now. It's not afternoon, is it? Yes. It is. Don't make me ill. My apologies. That's my name. Don't wear it out. 
Your name is Thaddeus. Goodbye. I'm leaving. Amazing. Well, I suppose so. Goodbye for now. Bye. Good night. Good night. Alright, let me crank up the heater a little bit now that I kind of discussed what was on my mind a little bit. Like, it's so weird that Seaman just brings this to mind, you know? Oh well. Leonard, would you kindly take us out? Would you like to save and end the session? Yes, please. All right, so with that, I think we're done for the day. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right? Maybe, who knows, we might get another peek into my personality and my, you know, hopes and dreams, as it were. Later, guys.